Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I'm on the river a little after sunrise this morning, although you can't see it because it is so dang foggy out here. We had a little bit of rain last night and it has put a thick fog on the river this morning, but the perk of that is it's gonna keep things cool a little longer. We're going through a, a late summer surge here in September, it's supposed to be like 90 degrees today. So the longer this fog sticks around, the better, but my plan out here this morning is to do some drifting. We've got some current, they're moving some water at the dam. And so I'm gonna drift a main channel ledge. This section of the river, for whatever reason, I have done well at lately. I've caught some big flatheads down through here, got some good quality blues. And when I have gotten away from here to go hit some other spots recently, I ain't done worth a crap. So I thought, you know what? This area has been good to me. I'm gonna come back and hit it again today. Yesterday morning, I went out with my buddy Mark from Deuces Wild Fishing Charters. He was making a bait run, invited me out, so I got plenty of fresh bait today. So I'm gonna just take a section of this ledge, let that current propel me downstream here. It's gonna be moving us half a mile an hour or so. Perfect drifting speed. We'll suspend a couple baits off bottom and hopefully run into some catfish along the way. Come with me, let's do it. There is the first bait going down. That's a skipjack head. I got a stinger fly there under it. I'm gonna put it on the left side of the kayak. I'm in my Old Town kayak today. It's my pedal kayak, kind of just bare bones setup. I got two rod holders and my graph, it ain't even properly mounted up there, but it's all I need to catch some fish. And so I'm gonna just go out here today, two rods, one on each side. We'll have the, a headpiece on at all times and we'll have a chunk on at all times. That's the size of the chunk I'm gonna start with there. That's a, another piece of skipjack. Do have some white bass also that we may substitute in. Well, right here this morning at, well, what is supposed to be first light, I'm gonna have the skipjack on. I guess technically it is first light, even though we can't see the first light of the sun. <laughs> Let me put this chunk on here. This stinger fly, I got a white stinger fly on my other setup. And this one here is a goldfish pattern. That's the bait stalker from Catfish Sumo. This is on a Carolina rig, basically, with just a, a 10 aught circle hook, piece of cut bait, and then the fly dangling there under it. So as we drift along, we got that piece of cut bait there leeching off some blood and oils. And then fish come up, they want to cut bait, they can have it. If they're maybe a little lethargic, maybe wanting a smaller profile bait, well, we got that fly there just sitting there under it like a small bait fish, kind of wiggling around there as well. So right now I'm 52 feet here. I'm right on the edge of this ledge as it starts to come up. And depth is gonna vary out here this morning. 52 feet right now. It's gonna to continue to drop down a little deeper as I make my way downstream. And then it's gonna come up pretty sharp. We'll be in the 30s for a stretch and then back down to the 40s. So gonna have some some fluctuation and depth here, but hopefully run into some fish along the way. Boy, I got thumped hard right here. Let's see if that rod tip goes down here in just a second. I can see my line, he's got that bait. We're gonna see a nice take down here in just a second. The whole kayak spinning, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, buddy, he's got it. Let's reel him in. Slow morning out here, y'all. I know for video purposes, we're looking at a few seconds here, y'all watching this, but it's been an hour and a half or so for me on the water. Nothing happening. I've covered, covered a good distance down through here. Nothing going on. That ain't a very big fit. He just threw the bait off too. I see it sinking right there. Jag on fish. Nice thump though. I thought I had a flathead at first because it just wham and sit there and then I see my line start moving. No such luck this time though. Had the flathead bite, but was not the flathead. Nevertheless, it's good to get bit. Just one of them mornings out here, just slow, slow day. They might be biting somewhere, but they ain't biting here. All right, fish, hold yourself up there. I'd give you a little front camera time, but you threw that bait off, and that's kind of a no-no. That, was, that wasn't that was very kind of you. At least tell the audience hi, would you? Pink, look at this. Look at them small whiskers right there. 
Looks like he's got an old gray beard. Need to get you some just for men fish. All right, folks. Well, hopefully finally going to get down here to where some fish are at. That's the first bite right there, man. Hour and a half or so now just covering water. I'm just keeping making my way down river. Got current flow. I'm just letting it take me. Uh, perfect speed, but thus far, thus far, just limited action, but... That's how drifting goes. Oftentimes you, you cover big, big stretches of water that's just dead, just nothing there. And then all of a sudden, every rod starts going down. You just get on them. So hopefully, hopefully that's going to happen here soon. We're due, by gosh, we're due. Well, I may be getting on some fish here because there goes that rod again. Oh boy, oh boy, nice takedown. Nice takedown. Here we go, just a couple minutes later. Maybe I've got on some right here, y'all. I'm 40 feet deep. Again, I dropped down from where I started, like 56, 58 feet, then come up. Now I'm dropping back down again. Depths kind of just fluctuates through here, but you... The, I had two trips out here recently that were just awesome trips. Got big flatheads, both trips. And then I've hit some other places since then. They ain't done worth a diddly doo doo, man. Just been struggling. And I thought I'm on. I got fresh bait. I'm gonna come out here again today and just see if I can rekindle some magic or something. Here, that's a little, little better fish. A little better than the last one. That's a no. He. That's a mad one's what he is. He's mad. That's a fun size though. I bet you he's thrown that bait off too, ain't he? He learned some bad habits from that other fish. They just, they teaching these, these little catfish here, they teaching them the wrong things down there on the river bottom. They gotta, they gotta get their educational system in order down there because this is, this is bad behavior. Come on up here, fish. Come on up here now. Come on. Get in here. Let's show you off to the world here. Boy, this fish, he got pimple. Well, that camera mounts crooked and everything, fish. It just ain't, it ain't this fish's day. He's got a hook in the jaw. He's got what looks like pimples on his mouth. We're gonna hold him up. He's gonna get his picture taken with a, with a YouTuber that gets at least 13 views per video and the camera mounts crooked. Hey, boy, this ain't him. You hear that? He's got plenty to say about it too, don't he? Got old thing right there on his lip right there. Yo, nasty. Did you kiss your dirty woman? Uh, he says he did. It happens, buddy. You gotta watch yourself. They dirty women everywhere now. All right. Well, that was two bites pretty quick on my crooked camera mount there. Hopefully getting on some fish down here. Both of those fish ate a chunk of skipjack, small chunk. I got the big head over here, smaller chunk, two different cuts of bait, two different sizes of bait, just trying to offer them options here. So I'll get another chunk put on, and we'll just keep making our way down river here. And, you know, that's uh, two. The, the first one there was a larger dink, smaller fun size. That's a smaller fun size. Hopefully we just keep increasing our size as we go down river. I'm gonna cut another bait. I gotta put a chunk on the other rod, but I think when I do it, I'm gonna reel my head up. That's the same head that I've been out here from the start with. And again, I know we're just a, probably five minutes into the video here, but I've been on the water a good while. So we're gonna switch that bait out and hopefully spruce it up a little bit. I'm going to cut them fins off. I'm in bad shape today, y'all. Out here, I've got a knife. That's the only tool I got with me. My scissors and my pliers are gone. They in the other kayak. I had filmed a bicycle bank video, and I had put the tools from this kayak into my tackle bag to go fishing on the banks. So I had my pliers and my scissors, right? And I remembered when I got done filming that video to put the scissors and pliers back in the kayak. 
Problem is my dumb ass put them back in the wrong kayak. <laughs> so they're in my Hobie. And all I got in this kayak today is a knife. So hopefully we don't need, I, I can do without the scissors. That's just a luxury item. But hopefully we don't need the pliers at any point out here this morning. I got another one over here working this rod. That's on the head. We'll see if he actually has it or if he's gonna let it go. I'll kind of come across some, I'll show you here on my graph. Some, marks there some dinks 34 feet here right now i don't think any of those fish were big enough to eat that bait unfortunately just pecking at it there and it kind of went over a little bit but obviously let it go so one of them days y'all but plugging along out here putting in the time putting in the work he's back for it let's see if he gets it this time he's got the line he's going with it hopefully he's got the hook too He's spinning the kayak, and he just let it go. Now he's back for it again. He wants it, man. All right, he may have it that time. He may have it that time. He may have got the, he may have got the hook that time. Nope, he just let it go. He's down there just destroying that head. I'm gonna hold the rod here a second. Well, here goes this one. Let me, let me put the, the head rod back now. All right. This one, may, this one may have got the hook. We'll get this one up here and take a look at him. We'll see the size of the fish down there chewing up, him, chewing up that head bait. Yeah, smallest one of the morning here. Doggone These little fellas right here can chew up some baits man hello oh my gosh look at this thing look at all them leeches on his chin there he's embarrassed about it i almost hate to open up fish i almost hate to lip this in any way because he's got some all that nastiness there Lord, give me my line back. He's clamped down on my leader there. Look at that. Look at them leeches on him there. Goodness, you nasty fish. You nasty. You ought to be embarrassed coming up here on camera looking like that. That old nasty fish, but that's the size of fish that has been down there chewing up that head bait, just hitting, biting on it, pulling the rod tip down, not actually having the whole bait and hook and everything eaten. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put another bait on this in here. I'll reel up that head bait. Take a look at it. It's been hit numerous times now. If it's looking bad, I'll switch it out. If not, I'll try to get a little while longer out of it. But definitely, definitely gotta switch out the bait on that one. That fish knocked it off or ate it one. Body chunk again. Body chunk. Oh boy, look at that. Look at that, man. That's a nice takedown. That one's pulling harder now. Goodness, let me get that rod out of the rod holder. That one's pulling harder. Nice takedown. My drag's a little tight there. I got, must have got bumped getting in and out of the car or something. Real nice takedown. Had another long spell here between bites. This fish, I don't think, is going to end up being nearly as big as what I initially thought. Yeah, it's another fun size. That takedown though, man, when he first buried that rod over and spun the kayak around, I thought he was going to be significantly bigger. It's just another fun size. He still, he still wound up though, ain't he? I'll play him out here, Smidge. I want to get every second I can of this battle, by gosh. It's, it's, it took so long for this fish to come along today. Oh boy, he's still wound up, man. Still wound up. I'll tell you something, folks. This is a strong fish right here. Oh goodness. Still full of energy, too. Goodness gracious, fish. Calm it down now. Three or four notches, why don't you? I need my pliers, that's what I need, y'all. Essential tool. There we go. Yeah, that's their uh, 
fun size, you know, smaller fun size, kind of, well, I don't know, I ain't got my board to throw him on there. I'm in that slot tournament this month, but I've I measured fish for long enough to get my limit, and I said I'm done measuring fish for the month, but he's probably 32 inches or so, 32, 34 inches. You know, fun size length, getting a little gut on it there, but just, well, he was pooping on the way out too. I don't think he, I don't think he shot it all over the kayak here. Jag on the fish, tried to doo-doo all over me. I'll tell him, I'll tell him a few things, by gosh. We don't do none of that here. That's outdoor behavior. That ain't indoor behavior here. <laughs> well, the theme of the morning here, I reel in a fish, it throws off the bait. So I'm gonna cut another bait and put on there. Small chunk though, getting it done on the limited bites I have gotten. The head has been tapped numerous times over here, especially as I've gotten down here to this stretch of the river. Seems to be a lot more activity here, a lot more fish, but just not very good quality. The fish like that, uh, bigger, bigger fish, bigger, big enough to eat a bait, very sporadic thus far. And just like that, I drop another bait down and what well, got hit. I think he's got it. I think this one here is acting a little bit smaller than the last one though. What do you think? It's good to get another bite that quickly though. Every time I think I might be going into some fish, it was just a false alarm. I'm gonna end up grinding out several bites today though before it's said and done. It's just a matter of covering water, putting the time in. I've been on the water I guess it's after 10 o'clock now, so a good while this morning for the few bites I got. I think sometimes on these YouTube videos, you, you unfortunately, you see kind of highlights of these trips that are a few hours long, and you think, man, the bite was on. He was just getting one fish after another after another. And in reality, a day like today, it may look like that when the video's finished and put together, but it's been a very spray i'm trying not to get this hook here i'm trying not to get that stinger hook in my hand i'm gonna let him go just like that but uh you know sometimes i think youtube can be kind of deceiving as to how a fishing trip has really gone if a day like today where maybe i end up grinding out and getting several fish it'll look like it's just one fish after another after another when in reality it's been catch a fish go a little while catch another, go a stretch, that kind of day. But uh, the most important thing though was getting bit. And, and I've said it so many times before, drifting with suspended baits, it's a great way to cover water and, and run into fish. You know, you'll cover enough of an area along a main channel ledge, you have to run, I mean, statistically speaking, you have to run into some fish eventually. So getting a few out here this morning, still waiting on the big one though just like that man here we go again oh goodness that's gonna pull a little drag now all right own some fish right here y'all that's three pretty quickly now and this one's pulling man this one here's pulling made my way down there's a creek here kind of behind the camera right now over here to the side that comes in Y'all know me, I like me some creek mouths because these fish, they work in and out of these creeks. This one here, he said he'll go in that creek later. Right now I'm offering him a free meal right here in the, in the main channel. How can he pass it up? Yeah, that's another, that's another hard pulling fish is what he is. That's another fun sizer. Come on up here, fish. We got, we got four people left still watching, want to see you. At least four. Four people that's still watching and maybe one or two that fast forwarded and landed on this spot of the video. Y'all know who you are. I know you fast forward. A lot of you do. Come on over here, fish, let's land you. Oh goodness. Here I was trying to get my glove on and that fish decides he wants to 
he wants to give me a bath or something. He wants to hose me down. This fish said I stunk or something. He wasn't coming in here. Tried to, tried to hose me off. Now look what you done now, fish. Now you done got that stinger in the back. You got a hook and a jaw and a stinger fly in the back. Uh-huh. You done it to yourself, buddy. You done it to yourself now. Get on up in here. Hold yourself up there, fish. There's another smaller fun size. Heck of a takedown though, man. They're, the, the fish, the limited bites I'm getting, buddy, they're fighting hard, man. They're pulling. They're aggressive when they do hit. That in there was aggressive. He said some words on the way out I won't translate for you because it might be offensive to the sensitive people out there watching. But All right, well, right here behind the camera here, there's this creek that comes in. Caught some good fish there this year and in years past. And so just drifted down to it here. Again, I started way up river from here this morning and have just made my way along just covering water working the edge of the ledge i love the edge of the ledge that's kind of the highways that fish cruise along as they move up and down the river and finally you know running into a few fish so i'm gonna get another bait down there right quick who knows might catch another got action here on this rod on another chunk chunk has been popular today the fish that have eaten have wanted a chunk. The fish that have at least considered the head have just come up and nipped and thought better of it. They knew something was awry with them heads. Now this one here, well, at least this fish here at least left us the bait on. If you're going to be that small, you might as well at least leave the bait on. He may have lost an eye today, folks. He's gonna be wearing a pat. No, no, his eye's okay. I thought we'd put your eye out with that hook. You lucky fish, it's close. Fish better. Count his lucky stars, he'd be like Ralphie, shoot his eye out. Get some of that slime off there and we're gonna drop that same bait back down, I reckon. I may rehook it here. All right, back down it goes, man. Let's see if we can get another. Hopefully something a little bigger than that. And right there, but much bigger than the bait. Well guys, the sun has finally burned through all that fog out here and boy, now that it has, it has gotten hot. Summer is making its final stand here in September and uh, going out with a bang, by gosh. So I think I'm gonna get on up out here. Ended up grind, I mean, oh, well, I'm well, I thought we might get us one more here, by gosh. He, that fish right there knew he was running out of time. He thought I better bite quick, but he didn't get the hook. Fish, this video was about to end here in a few seconds. So by gosh, now's the time, buddy. But uh, anyway, y'all got a few fish out here. I've had to grind like a stripper on a pole to get them, but by gosh, got it done. Uh, for whatever reason, this past week or so here, I've just struggled. I mean, I've tried different places, done some different things. The bite changed on me and I've just failed to adapt properly. It ain't for lack of trying, but by gosh, it just ain't worked out. But today was a little bit better. At least got a few bites, got a few smaller fun sizers out here. And most importantly, had fun. Been out here today, you know, my old town kayak. I may have talked long enough for him to get it. Nope, it's the tease. Just a tease like one of them real strippers on the pole. But uh, been out here in my old town kayak today, my pedal kayak, just bare bones, basic setup. This is a lightweight kayak and you know, them fish like the size I got there earlier, man, when they take a rod down and start pulling the whole kayak spin, it's fun. I, I, I enjoy it. I, I like fishing out of this kayak. And since we kind of in the, the YouTube it's starting to slow here you know it'll slow down views wise through winter probably gonna be doing a lot more trips in this kayak just just have some fun if i get content great if i don't well i ain't the end of the world because well ain't but a handful of you still left watching this time of year anyway but uh, anyway y'all like i said it's hot as blazes out here summer's making its final stand 
And I think I'm going to take it home, get me some lunch, kick back and relax the rest of the day. So anyway, we'll do it again soon. I'll see you.